Hi, this is George Cow, and in today's video, I want to share with you a way uh, to overcome procrastination and work on a project that you know. If you knew, if think about think about a project in your business where you think, you know, gosh, if I just had focused time and energy, and I felt flow working on that project, it would make a real difference in my business. Okay, and I am going to give you this gift. Um, it's been a gift to me and it's been a gift to people who participated in this. This is called virtual co-working. If you have not yet tried this, I urge you to give it a try. Again, it's free because I'm doing this for free right now. So while I'm doing this for free, and you know, probably going to be doing it for free at least for a few months, please give it a try. Try it out at least and you'll surprise yourself how much you can get done. And then once you come to my sessions, you may then want to schedule your own with your friends or with your colleagues or just keep coming to mind if you want. Um, so, you know, just a, a quick couple of uh, examples, right? Corby was, uh, has attended a couple of these sessions. She says today was powerful and, and an, an article entirely written, posted, illustrated and on the website. She did, she did this in one hour. Um, uh, Bernie says, uh, did it today. It's extremely productive and inspiring. Uh, Kate wrote that this format seems to cut through the resistance that normally only gets overcome in my face in it by in my face deadlines but it's it's a this virtual co-working is a much more pleasant experience and better quality too Zuzka wrote this is beyond fantastic I now have a site structure and primer ordered topic list that'll be foundation for any website so people get a lot done in these sessions and it's one of the participants said how does this work why why does it work I mean I'm just working on my own here but the way the, the way it works is because uh, well, I start off the sessions by just a little bit of in, in inspirational talk, and then uh, I set a timer that you'll be able to see on the screen as you work on your project, and you'll know that we all are working, uh, kind of, we're energetically supporting each other, basically. Uh, you just work on your project. We basically, in a single hour, we do two 25-minute sessions. Sometimes the second session is 20 minutes. But even in 45 minutes in, uh, of one hour, you'll find that you probably get more done than even an hour and a half by yourself. So please, I urge you to come give this a try. And I've, I've created a new tool to help you uh, find out when those sessions are a lot easier. The tool is to go to George Cow. Here, let me show you this here. Go to georgecow.com, my website, georgecow.com slash coworking, all one word. So georgecow.com slash co-working and then when you go there you will see this you will see this web page uh, very simple if you don't know what virtual co-working is you can click on this to well basically read the article that I was just showing you so read read how it works there um, but there's an updated calendar here and so the calendar will whenever you come back and refresh the page uh, if you don't know how to refresh the page you can just click this thing to refresh whenever you come back and refresh the page uh, it will always show you the upcoming dates right now I'm recording this on Sunday October 18th that's why it's showing this upcoming stuff and then if you want to scroll down on the right hand there's an invisible scroll bar but if you just click and drag uh, whoops um, uh, let's see here whoa oh there it is invisible scroll bar here just click and drag uh, along the side to to see more okay and I usually schedule about one week out at a time and uh, if you click on any of the events, it'll give you more details. So, for example, at three, okay, make sure you look at this. Events are shown in Pacific time, okay, Pacific time. So, I don't know if you can change a time zone here. This actually might change based on your, t I think your computer might be smart enough to change the time based on that. But if it still says Pacific time, let me give you a tip. You can go to worldtimebuddy, worldtimebuddy.com. And Pacific time is basically San Francisco. So let's say you're in New York, uh, then you could say, well, if George's session is at 3 p.m. on Monday, excuse me, I have to sneeze here. Okay, if George's session is on 3 p.m. on Monday, Pacific time, then I look at, you know, Monday the 19th at 3 p.m. If I click on that, then it'll show me the sessions for one hour. Then it'll show me, oh, New York's at 6 p.m. Uh, Buenos, Buenos Aires, Argentina is at 7 p.m. So you can basically put in, I'm going to re refresh this to get to the home page again. You can put in another time zone. Let's say you're in Sydney, Australia. So you can start typing Sydney. You click on this 
and when you when you go Monday at 3 p.m. Pacific time, uh, what would that be in Sydney? That would be uh, um, let's see, there would be oops, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, let's see. Let's go back. Let's go back. How do I go back? Oh, okay. So click on this again. Let's go nine, m Monday, uh, 3 p.m. Pacific time. Then you'll see it's Sydney, Tuesday, October 20th at 9 a.m. So this is a very handy tool if you want to translate times. But anyway, the, the times are all listed here. Whenever you click on the event, you'll see how to join. You can just simply copy this link. Okay, copy this link, open it, go, go to that link. I'm not going to go there right now because it opened up the, the, the conference room. But uh, you'll just be able to find that here. And then click, click on this title again to collapse it. And then, uh, oh, and then you can also, when you click on it, you can click on copy to my calendar. If you use Google Calendar, you'll be able to click on that. And it'll go to your Google Calendar and you can save it then. You can also click on this button. Uh, let's see if it, uh, it'll work because my... I'm on my wife's account right now and it is logged in. It says, do you want to add this to this calendar? You click on yes to add and that'll add my, uh, that'll add a continually updated calendar of co-working with me and you can always untoggle that calendar, uncheck it if you don't want to see that. So that's an option for you or you can again, you can click on whichever one you want and copy it to your calendar or just write it down. And then basically at the beginning of the session, oh, right, you can, all, you can either copy this and go to it, or at the beginning of the session, you can come back to this co-working page and just click here. And you click there, that'll bring you into the conference room for the co-working. And I recommend if, if you're brand new to these things and you want a, my orientation in the beginning, I, I do recommend you try to show up one minute early. So show up at 2.59 p.m. And uh, we'll start very promptly at 3 p.m. With, with a two-minute orientation. And then we'll start our 25-minute segment. We'll take a break, and then we'll do another 25-minute se segment. And you will be surprised how much you can get done. I'll show you one more thing. Uh, let's say you're on Facebook. I have, a, I have a Facebook event that I create each month to help you, remind you that I'm doing these things. And if you want to be invited, basically, on Facebook to my, to my co-working sessions, uh, what you do is you go to Facebook. And in the Facebook search box, I'm here on my wife's uh, profile here. You go to the Facebook search box, you click on the search box, and you, and you type in George Cow virtual, okay, virtual, and you will come up with the event. And just find the correct month. Obviously, right now we're in October, so I would click on October, um, okay? And once you come here, uh, it, let's say you want to be invited to the November sessions and, or the December sessions, etc., simply click Join. Okay, if you click join here, okay, I'm assuming you're logged into Facebook. If you click join here, it'll, um, it'll count you as one of the upcoming attendees of, of this month-long co-working session event. I don't expect you to show up necessarily, but you want to be invited. Basically, whenever I create the next month's co-working invitation, I basically invite the people who said they were going the previous month. So. So you just if you want to be reminded, basically, you just come to the page and click on join and it'll say it'll now say going. So I hope this is helpful. I look forward to seeing you at one of these sessions. I, I promise you, you will walk away feeling like it's well, I can't I'm not going to promise you, but just about everyone who has come to it has been glad they've come. And once you come to it, uh, you know, if you can't make my events, you can always create the same kind of event with a friend or with a group of friends. So anyway, until the next video, I wish you well.